Hi everyone, Mr. Kennelly here. Here's the next part for the foundation paper. I'm going to look at questions six and seven on June 2019. That's paper two, which is no calculator required or allowed. To. So question six is a function machine. So something times five, your input times five minus three gives you your output. So the first question says, found the output when the input is seven. So the first thing I'm going to do is to do the first stage, so that is, my input 7, so 7 times 5 gives me 35, okay, and whatever the value is at this stage, I'm going to take 3 off, so my output is going to be 35 minus 3, and so my output is going to be 32, so watch, my input times 5 minus 3 gives me my output, this time they're going to work it back, so they're saying the output is 42, so if I go back, watch my input. So I need to do the opposite. So 42, in the machine it was a minus 3, so the opposite of a minus 3 is an add 3. So my first stage is to do this. 42 add 3 gives me 45. And the first part of the machine is a multiply by 5. So the opposite of a multiply by 5 is divide by 5. Which gives me 45 divided by 5, which gives me the number 9. And if I work that back, 9 times 5 is 45. Minus 3 gives me an output of 42. So I'm really confident that these values are correct. Okay, the next stage, so it says the input is x and the output is y. Write an equation for y in terms of x. So get your head around this, the output is y. So my output equals something to do with x and then a minus 3. So function is times by 5 minus 3 so I'm going to show that by saying y equals 5 times my input of x minus 3 so y the output is 5 times my input minus 3 okay that's a bit awkward to get your head around but that's how we do it and then the final question on this page is question 7 to do with angles now I'll read the question a b and c d are parallel lines now we're also aware of that, if you like, because we've got the arrowheads. So even if it didn't tell you that, you sometimes might have to see those and realise. That means these two lines here are train tracks. They're always the same distance apart. And it says EF and FB. So that's EF is this line here. Sorry. And FB is this diagonal here. All it's telling us are there that they are perfectly straight. They're not curves or arcs, they're just perfectly straight lines. And we need that to solve the next bit. And it says X equals 55. So the letter X is here. And it says because. So, first thing I'm, I'm going to draw on this for you. We have a backwards or a letter Z there. It concerns with my letter X and my angle 55. And if I look at actually it's a different colour, I'm not sure if you'll see that. My Y and 70 have got an upside down and backwards letter F. Now, when I took my exams, you could just call them F, Z, and C angles, but you need to know the actual name. So what I say to people is F. Think of football club FC. So X and Z, sorry, is alternate. Think of your alphabet A to Z. X, okay, so the X angle is in this Z or backwards to whatever you want to call it. So because it is an alternate angle. Okay. Alternate angle, and then Y is an upside down F football club FC, which stands for 
corresponding. No, I just use dittos. Please, please, please don't use dittos. Please write them out in your exam situation. So that's another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven marks available on that page. Hope that helps.